Welcome to this Excel 2016 lesson on Financial Functions Part 1. To calculate how much payments would be on a loan with a fixed interest rate, use the payment function. For example, a car loan. After the down payment and other costs they get you for, the loan amount is $35,000. The interest rate is 6.5% and the loan is being taken out for four years. I've set up the worksheet here, so let's start. In B5, type equals PMT, press tab. First parameter is the rate. This is the periodic interest rate, not the annual rate. There are 12 months in a year, so click B3. Then divide it by 12 to get the periodic rate. Comma, the NPER, this is the number of periods, the number of payments. This is the number of years times 12 months each year. So click B4 and multiply by 12. Comma, next parameter is PV. The present value. This is the amount of the loan. Click B2. Next parameter, FV, is the future value. This is an optional parameter. The future value would be used if there was an amount left over after the payments were made. But in this case, there's nothing left over. Next parameter, the type, is also optional. If it's left out or set to zero, the payments are made at the end of each period, which is usually the case with this type of loan. If the payments were made at the beginning of each period, you would put a 1 here. So the final two parameters can be left out. Press Enter. Now it's a negative amount here because it's being taken out of your pocket and going to the bank. Now let's see how much interest is being paid for the loan. Use the cumulative interest payment function. Into B6, type equals C-U-M-I-P-M-T, then press tab. First parameter is the rate. This is the annual interest rate divided by 12 again. So click B3, divide by 12. Comma. Next parameter is the number of periods. This is the years times 12. So click B4, multiply by 12. Comma. PV, present value. Click B2, comma. The start period. This is 1. I want to know how much interest is being paid from payment 1 to the last payment. Comma, the end period. For this, click B4, the number of years, then multiply by 12 again to get to the last period. Comma, this is the type. It's required in this function. The payments are at the end of each period, so this is zero. Press Enter. And there's how much interest you're paying on the loan. Now I'll make an amortization table so I can get the monthly details on the loan. The loan is for 4 years times 12 months, that's 48 payments. So into A10, type a 1, press Control enter To create a series of numbers from 1 to 48 for each payment, on the Home ribbon, click Fill, then select Series. Or use the Menu Shortcut. Hold down Alt and press H-F-I-S to bring up the Series dialog. Choose Series in Columns, Step Value 1, Stop Value 48. Press OK. In D9, type equals, then click B2. Press Enter. This is the starting balance. Next, 
I'll take the balance and multiply it by the periodic interest rate. Into B10, type equals, click D9, the balance, then an asterisk for multiplication, click B3, press F4 to lock it. I'm going to be copying it down the column. Then divide by 12 for the periodic rate. Press tab. Now to find out how much is going to the loan, I subtract the payment amount from the interest. I need to make the payment amount positive. So type equals, then a minus sign. Now click B5. Press F4 to lock it in place. Now type a minus, then click B10. Press tab. Now to get the new balance, I'll subtract the amount to loan from the previous balance. Type equals, click D9. Type a minus, click C10, press enter. Now to finish it off, drag and highlight from B10 to D10. Now double click the fill handle. And there you have it, details on each payment, how much is going to interest and how much is going to pay off the loan for each month. You could try out different amounts in the calculations. If you increase or decrease the number of years though, you'll have to modify the amortization table accordingly. For example, let's change the loan to five years. Now, go to the last row of the table Drag and highlight the row. Then drag the fill handle down 12 more rows for 60 payments. Likewise, if you decrease the number of years, just delete the rows beyond the number of periods for the loan. Well, that concludes this lesson on Excel 2016, an introduction to financial functions. Thanks for watching.